Hello everybody and welcome, I'm Andre and today I'm here in my studio to show you something that I hope you will find interesting and useful. In the previous videos of this series I focused on using no input techniques and creating feedbacks inside of hardware devices like for example mixers or guitar pedals. But I also announced, now it's like many months ago, I also announced that I wanted to make some tutorials about uh, feedback and input techniques in the digital environment. This summer I was very busy and uh, had a lot of stuff to do with music and everyday life type of stuff. But uh, now I'm back and I'm gonna do more videos for this channel. So yeah, thank you very much for sticking around. So today I'm here to show you how you can create a no input patch and feedback inside of your softwares. Many people don't have access to hardware devices uh, and uh, second-hand mixers or chip mixers uh, are very difficult to find in certain situations. So if you cannot afford or you cannot find any hardware uh, mixer, you can still experiment with feedbacks. Uh, you just need a computer and uh, some free softwares. I think that uh, making noise and making music should be something available for everyone regardless of uh, the hardware that you can afford or you can find and the money that you can spend on it. These tutorials have also this purpose to share the knowledge and hopefully inspire you to do some noise. So for today's experiments uh, we are gonna use just a computer and a free software so anyone can try and test uh, the stuff that I will do in this video. I'm gonna use uh, VCV Rack, the second version. VCV Rack is a very powerful and very useful tool. It's a software that uh, basically tries to emulate in the digital environment uh, the behavior of a modular synthesizer. It comes with a lot of uh, free modules and you can download uh, a ton of them from their website. The standalone version is free, so everyone can download it from VCV Rack uh, website. I'm gonna link it down here in the description and create their own modular system. But first of all, I have to start from the basics because uh, using a software like VCV Rack can be very tricky in the beginning if you're not used to it. And uh, knowing some theory behind the synthesis, it's very useful to start and not get frustrated. At what are the basic principles to create a uh, feedback uh, with a mixer, for example? There is a background noise in every type of electronic device. This background noise is generated by the simple movement of the electrons inside of the circuit. When you create a feedback loop, this background noise gets amplified exponentially and it becomes something that you can hear and you can shape. But of course, in a digital environment you don't have uh, this background noise because there are no electrons moving into a circuit, uh, it's just a series of numbers. So to start with our patch in VCV Rack we have to add a noise source to emulate the behavior of an hardware device. First of all I'm gonna add uh, here, there are a few models that you can see. I'm gonna add a module that allows me to connect to my audio interface. Then I'm gonna add a noise module. Here it is. It's the default one of the software. It can generate white, pink, red, violet, blue, gray, black noise. Then I'm gonna add a mixer. I'm gonna use only the default modules uh, that comes from with the software so you can uh, reproduce it uh, on your own without downloading anything. Also, you can find the patches that I'm gonna share in this video on my Patreon, so if you want uh, to support my work, you can go there and download them. Here we have some noise generator and we have a mixer. I'm gonna add uh, two mixers here. They have four channels with four inputs for outputs uh, and yeah there are also some CV controls that probably we're gonna use we'll see I'm gonna add also a couple of uh, other mixers uh, this one then I'm gonna add another one just in case it it's needed first of all we are gonna connect uh, our noise generator to one of the channel of our mixer you can see here where is the value 
Then we can connect, for example, the output to one of our main channels here. And you're gonna hear... this background noise. But now we have to create a no input patch. So let's start with it. So first of all, we're gonna connect one of the noise generators to one of our inputs. Then we are going to take the output of the channel and send it uh, here, very basic summing mixer, but it helps us to create a more complex type of setup. And here we have a new input patch, basically. I connected the first two outputs of my mixer here, of my VCA mixer, to this mixer here, and then I send the signal back to channel number two. Now to hear what we are going to do, we can just connect the output here to our audio interface. This is a digital feedback. Then we can create more complex type of patches, adding more channels and generate more complex interactions between the mixer and uh, the white noise that we started with. Look at those values. <laughs> they are going nuts, obviously. I love when you, you know, push the limits of the machine and uh, create something new and interesting and that it's basically unintended. So yeah, this is a new input patch in BCV Rack. Obviously, this is just the basic behavior of uh, a digital feedback uh, created inside of the software, but you can add more stuff. And for example, I created uh, a few patches to show you the possibilities uh, of this creative process. The setup for this patch is basically the same, like uh, a noise generator, four mixers, and the module that connects them to the audio interface that I'm using to record. <laughs> Sounds pretty nice. Also, the result is uh, kinda similar in a certain way to what you can achieve uh, in uh, an hardware environment. So with the actual circuits. Uh, but it's also different and has its own timber and its digital quality 
which is super nice in my opinion and uh, opens up a lot of uh, interesting possibilities in sound design and uh, in the, you know, exploration of glitchiness and uh, random type of sounds. Uh, yeah, super nice. <laughs> you can make all kind of experiments obviously without the worry to break anything uh, the worst that can happen is that uh, the software crashes but I mean it's fine <laughs> you can reboot it and it's okay Super nice, actually, in my opinion. Here, for example, I added a uh, phaser in the chain of the feedback. There are a lot of modules uh, that are uh, effects and that you can use besides and uh, in combination with uh, your input patch. Here I use the random CV generator. It's even more random than usual. Or here I use the sequencer. an envelope generator. The super interesting thing about uh, BCV Rack is that it's completely modular and you can add whatever you want uh, and experiment uh, in many different ways. Uh, I hope this uh, super quick tutorial was useful and uh, interesting and uh, yeah, if you are curious and want to know more about uh, feedbacks and input techniques in the digital environment, uh, don't forget to ask in the comments, I'll be more than happy to help you. Thanks everyone for tuning in and see you soon somewhere out there. <laughs> Bye!